Australia has been obsessed with the goings on of Albanese's voice to parliament, there have been some curious things happening in China. Now your piece in the magazine called Fall of the Princeling, Intrigue in the Court of Xi, is about China's rise and fall in their special elite class. Now firstly, Kevin, what is a princeling in China? A princeling is a, a name given to those children, grandchildren and descendants of the original uh, revolutionaries uh, from the time of Mao. So they have a special place in China. They occupy significant positions both in the political establishment, in business and in elsewhere in China. And they're kind of part of the new dynasty that effectively rules China today. So it's essentially the resurrection of the old monarchical systems that China used to be governed for, for the majority of its thousands of years of existence, except this time with a political slant. Now, they might be communists, but you're basically saying that they still have this inherited privilege. Is that correct? Yes, the, the dynastic culture of China has not really changed. Uh, the people who make up the dynasty today are the leading figures in the Communist Party. And if you look at a lot of them and the ones who uh, have the greatest influence, starting with Xi Jinping himself, they are all princelings. Uh, Xi is a second generation princeling. His father uh, was one of the revolutionary leaders under Mao. And even though he was purged on occasion because Mao was essentially mad uh, on many occasions, nonetheless, Xi rose through the ranks. And so you see in uh, various high places and positions of authority and influence in China, uh, these sons and grandsons now of the revolutionaries from the 